Good morning, San Diego. This is Hennish Bullockel here with California Home Company, powered by EXP. And I want to share a couple minutes sharing my thoughts on working with investor buyers for your dated fixer properties that you might be selling personally or that you might have an agent selling or if an agent you're representing a seller. So I've had a lot of experience with this. I've been in the business for a long time. Additionally, we do investor remodels ourselves. I don't call them flips because we spend way too much time and money uh, to not make them cheap, make them high quality, and then it shows when we sell it. So our investor remodels go off well, but sometimes we've got too many properties to work on and I need to sell some properties off to investors. So I've done that before in the past. Uh, one example was a property that I had just down the street in Del Cerro earlier this year. I bought it at a great price. Uh, there was still a lot of equity in it to be sold to another investor and they make some money and I make some money. And so it's gonna be a win-win. <clears throat> Uh, the property was at 5673 Marne Avenue in Del Cerro. Now we wanted to sell it for 650. The idea was that a homeowner would buy it, get a renovation loan, and they would use our construction services to fix it up so they'd have their dream home, fix it up for X amount of money, and instantly have built-in equity, which works out great, you know, which is great because, because you can build it to exactly how you like, get the paint and the tile and the room dimensions how you want, and make little tweaks that that uh, can make it custom to you and not look like every other flip. So we've had a lot of clients do that. It's a great success. Fortunately, in this home, even though we cleaned it up, we had 40 plus people come through and none of them could see the potential. They said, this is an ugly, crappy house and it's never going to be a nice house. So even with the popularity of TV flip shows, no one could see the potential of turning this ugly looking house into a beautiful house, which it turned out to be. So uh, I try to sell it as is to some other investors and I got a lot of investor offers because I wasn't getting the buyer renovation uh, offers. So the first one came in at 640, I wanted 650, pretty close, but I knew this company, I had known the owner, I'd met him a few times and I knew they did a huge quantity of work down here in all of Southern California, including San Diego. 10 day escrow, the day before they were supposed to close, they say, oops, we didn't see this in our inspection, there's a rotted roof joist and we're gonna need a credit. Okay, how much is that gonna be? $100,000, they said. I said, I don't swear often, but I swore at them and I told them to get lost. This is not going to happen. Had a backup buyer at 640, another investor buyer that I knew did a lot of properties around here. Same thing, nine days into escrow before closing on day 10, they said, hey, we didn't account for some of these repairs and now we need a $40,000 credit. And they stated in some chipped concrete on a patio and a loose hand railing. Just really minor things that don't cost that much to fix. And by the way, we ended up fixing that house ourselves, got it done, incredible rehab, ended up selling it immediately that first weekend for the highest price in the neighborhood, $812,500. Um, and that roof joist cost us $2,300 to fix, nowhere near $100,000. So fix that joist, everything's great in the house and it sold right away. So so what's the best way to to prevent yourself from being taken advantage of from these investors, you know, because the thing is a lot of these guys do a lot of flips and they don't care who they piss off because if they don't get the property from you, they'll get it from someone else. And a lot of times that technique works because a seller might be frustrated and they need their house sold and they might be waiting, uh, might be anticipating to get that money in, even if they have to take a 10, 20, $50,000 price cut at the last minute because some investors playing some games with them. Um, so a way to prevent that is to get references from that investor of other properties I've done recently and ask the agents they've worked with and said, hey, how was this transaction? Did they pull any stunts on you? Did you pull any games on you? Did it go smoothly? Did they have to negotiate backtrack from the price they came in at? Uh, and dig in a little bit because if they're doing it one out of 10 times, that's too many in my opinion. Um, another option is just to work for my company in the onset. You know, our California home company has been doing investor remodels for the last several years and we've been getting a great reputation from the agents that have been selling us their properties from homeowners that have been selling us their properties agents that then use our construction services for their clients because of the quality of work we do so on the relist you'll always be getting a beautiful home that you'll be proud of to sell and and most likely won't work with other investors after that um, even our home inspectors come through our house and say i can't believe this is a flip it doesn't look like one it's this great quality and i get references from them too so bottom line, be careful when accepting an investor offer. Don't let their quantity of flips or their big proof of funds impress you because you could be left wondering what happened when they try to pull a bait and switch on you and drop a price uh, because they came in too high. So that's my words of advice here. Really just be cautious with any buyers, but especially investor buyers because they're in this job professionally and they're here to make money, which I get, but you know they, they could be tricking you by putting in that high initial offer uh, on your property. So, Hennish Polico with the California Home Company, powered by EXP.
Always available for tips, tricks, and advice in the real estate world. Thanks. Bye.